Hey guys, welcome to Jay Plays, and today I'm playing one of my favorite games of all time, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, specifically. Um, hyper fighting, I guess. Uh, I grew up playing this game all the time. It was, it was like I said, one of my favorite games. I think I'm gonna go with Guile, the original costume. Yeah, Turbo. After you've you've played Turbo, if you try to go back to like. Uh, World Warrior, whatever it's called, it's it's way too slow. It feels like you're on the moon. I like how they start me off with Blanca, my mortal enemy. Not really, but... He could be a pain to fight sometimes. Yeah, the Street Fighter series in general is like one of my favorite series of all time. Um, just fighting games are fun. This style of fighting games anyways. Good old Guile. I usually pick either Guile or Ryu or Ken. Pretty basic. Sagat, maybe. It's kind of fun to use. I think I've beaten the game with everybody except Dalsum, because I, I just, for the life of me, I can't beat M. Bison with Dalsum. He's just too damn slow. And M. Bison in this game is like ridiculous. Oh, I almost got a double perfect there. Oh well. Down blocker. You win. Ugh. Are you man enough to fight with me? Nope. Yeah, this game brings back a lot of memories. Uh oh. Oh yeah, in Turbo you get to fight yourself, so you gotta hear Guile's theme that everyone loves. All the music in this game is really good, actually. I think uh, Ken's theme is probably my favorite. Come on. So yeah, it turns out Charlie's gonna be in uh, the new Street Fighter V. Or they call him uh, Nash, I guess, which is his last name, I don't know. Yeah, you hear about Charlie in this game, uh, in Guile's Ending, which we'll hopefully get to see if I can beat Bison at the end. <clears throat> but yeah, Street Fighter 2, 3, 4, I love all of them. It's really hard to choose a favorite out of them. I'm down to play pretty much any of them. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, maybe I'll do the other ones sometime. Especially if you guys want to see it. Say, hey, play it. Yeah, I think what gave me the idea to play this was, uh, I saw uh, Benny, Benevolent Dick. He did a video. It was a co-op, co-op bra, as he calls it, and he was doing uh, this game. Oh, damn, he got me. Got to pay attention. Oh, um, and I was like, wait a second. How have I not done a, a J plays on this yet? This is like one of my favorite games. Got him. Yeah, one of the cool cool things about Guile in this game is he has a freaking air throw, which, like, not many people. He might be the only person. Maybe him and Chun-Li. I don't know, because I don't really use Chun-Li. But I know he's one of the, possibly the only person with the air throw in this game. Come on. There you go. Um, yeah, Guile's cool. Uh, and I also like to use Kenneru, you know, they're just generally whatever. In Street Fighter 3, my favorite character is Oro, who's probably the most badass Street Fighter character of all. Friggin' 120 year old man kicking people's asses with just one arm. So if you ever see me uh, play that, that's probably who I'm gonna be. Hammer Q, Q is also really cool. Which, I've heard some rumors that that's supposed to be Q in the background, right there. Kind of give him, like, the little, uh, the Hitler salute. Which, uh, he kind of, he's kind of dressed like that. He's got the hat and the trench coat and all that, but... Pretty sure that's just, like, an urban legend or whatever. Damn. Yeah, Oro or Q, I think, would be a really cool addition to, um... Street Fighter V. I was hoping they would, they were gonna be in 4, but no, they didn't get in. Dudley got in, which was cool, because I like Dudley as well. 
And oh, Sean. Yeah, Sean would be a really cool, uh, fun character to play, I think. Sean, when you first look at him, you're like, oh no, he's another Ryu clone. But he's probably the most unique of all, like right, you know, next to Dan. He's got a, he's, uh, got a pretty interesting uh, moveset. It's really fun to use. I think people say he's like the worst character or something, but it's like, nah, he's fun. There we go. I didn't even pay attention to my favorite song I was playing. Alright, who's next? Oh yeah, the car stage. You gotta jump to the right. This level is like crazy easy if you're Chun Li. It's like ridiculous. Just use her freaking uh, kicks. Her super kick maneuver or whatever. Uh oh. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, that's what they gotta bring back too in Street Fighter Five. They gotta bring back the destroying cars. I always like to think that you're destroying the car of the enemy that you just beat. Like, just like add insult to injury. Chun Li. I believe she was the first female character in a fighting game. I could be completely wrong about that. It's just. I mean, this was technically like. A pre the precursor for all the modern day 2D fighting games, so in general, you know, it, was, it broke a lot of new grounds. Oh, come on, with your Hadouken, with your fake Hadouken. Yeah, that was close, look at that. You win! Barely! I want to try to do, like I'm going to jinx myself because I'm saying it now, but I want to try to get through this game without losing. Although if I do get to the boss and I lose once, I might like try again one more time, but I don't want to drag this on for too long. You guys will get bored of that, seeing me lose over and over again. There we go. Sonic Boom! I like how Guile sounds in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. He sounds like Sylvester Stallone a little bit. It's exotic boob. Yeah. But in this game, he's just... Sonic boob. Zangief. Zangief's fun to use in uh, Street Fighter 4. I like using him. He's kind of ridiculous with his grabs. Way faster than he should be, in my opinion. Whoa. Yeah, and you can't even... I don't know why I just tried to grab him right now, because he's... Like, it's really tough to grab him. You can, but... It's not advised. It's sort of his territory. He's a grappler. There we go. He's yep, knocked out. Oh, he's not dead yet. There it goes. Yeah, it's an awesome game, because it's just like I don't know. It's just fun. Alright. He's weird. See there we go, I got him. Really weird alternate colors in this game. Like Zangief has like blue scars. Yeah, there we go. All right, get me them points that don't really matter. And you always see like the beat up opponent afterwards. That's that's always fun, right? I'm going to Japan yet? No, nope. India. I think you fight Dalsum first if you're Ryu. Yeah, I remembered um, when I was first like getting like into Super Nintendo again and getting the games back and stuff. At first, I had there we go those those air grabs. I was uh, I got Street Fighter Two World Warrior because I, I guess I didn't really remember which version I had when I was younger and I was playing it. And besides it being like super slow. Um, I noticed I was playing on this level, and I beat it, and see how the elephants, they go rawr, and make noises? They didn't make any noise, and I was like, what? I could have sworn the elephants made noise when you won the level. Like, you know, I, I hadn't played it in so long, but I, I swore I remembered that. 
And yeah, it just turns out that that version just doesn't have that. Gotta get Turbo. I should get a uh, Super Street Fighter 2, actually. That'd be pretty cool. Gotta keep an eye out for that. I played it a bit. Um, me and a friend found a Street Fighter Anniversary Collection for PS2, which he has. <clears throat> and that had Super Street Fighter 2 on it and Third Strike. <clears throat> And, um, so I got to play Super Street Fighter 2 on there for the first time, and I thought it was a pretty cool game. I guess that was the first one that introduced the Supers. Ooh, the bricks. This is pretty easy. Like, you can attack the top one if you want. Whoopee! Bricks! Oops, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, in Third Strike, there's a character named Lemmy. He's basically like this French emo kid, kind of the exact opposite of Guile, but he has Guile's moveset, like, pretty much. It's like, why do they give Guile's moveset to this emo French kid? It's kind of weird. So, like, I'm ashamedly, like, pretty good with him, or, like, decently well. I don't know. I don't know, he's not that, that bad, it's just weird going from Guile to that. Oh, come on. Ryu. Gonna give me a hard time. Mr. Main Character of the Franchise. Wandering Nomad. Yeah, you like that? I like how you can like hear them do their move even though they got it. Whoop. That's a close one. Oh damn, you got me. Say it ain't so. It's alright, I got this, right? I hope so. Oh, no, 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 no. See, he's comboing me. Yeah, interesting uh, fact, another fact, is uh, combos in this game were originally, a, like, they were kind of a glitch. Like, they weren't supposed to be there. And they're like, whoa, you could hit this person a few times. We didn't mean for that to happen. And then they decided to keep it because it was like, like oh, okay, that, that's kind of cool. It's combos. Yeah, we totally meant to do that. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I freaking lost. Ah, should I, should I change characters for the hell of it? I like using Guile for Bison though, and uh, Vega. I'll stick with him. Alright, this is my second life. If I lose this, then uh, I guess that'll be it. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Just gotta be careful. This is Ryu after all. Oh, I gotta be really- you gotta be careful with Guile's sweep, because he does it two times. And that's not always a good thing. Oh my god, Ryu! Oh, okay, that was... That was lucky. Jesus, man, what's the difficulty on here? I don't even know. Damn. Alright. There we go. No. No. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh my god, that was close. Couldn't even talk there. And I still got one more round, don't I? Oh jeez. All right. Come on, we could do this. I did not mean to jump. No.
No! Oh, thank god. Phew, freaking Ryu. Jesus, man. Yeah, interesting thing about these computers is that they all kind of have their own strategy. And so you, you, if you play them enough, you could kind of get, you know, down a good way to beat them. Okay, so I got E Honda, and then I'm down to the bosses. So yeah, I guess it's been a while. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I should have the bosses down generally. Come on. Plus, if you fight them later on, I'm pretty sure the computers get harder, or they should, anyways. There we go. All right. Yeah. It's knocked out too. Yeah, I like how you get to see like two sides of Japan because with reuse level you see like as you know you're like there's like temples I think and it's very like ancient looking and stuff. And then with the Honda's level you got all these like like lights and like electronic signs and stuff in the background watch yep see so you kind of get like I don't know two sides of Japan I thought that was kind of cool go home and be a family man all right okay we're down to the bosses first Balrog who definitely doesn't look like any you know boxer you know one that you know might rhyme with M. Bison for some reason Dude. Yeah, Balrog. If I recall, like he's not that hard, but he is—he's powerful. Look at that. He's ruthless, man. Oh Jesus! Come on. I let him chip me up too much. Yeah, yeah, get him, get him. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the thing with Balrog is, because normal hits don't do any chip damage. Which means like it doesn't do damage while you're blocking, only uh, special moves do. But Balrog special moves are all punches, so basically he's just like chipping away at your health. Uh, especially if he gets you in a corner like that. Oh jeez, how was I not fast enough? He's too damn fast for how strong he is. That's ridiculous. Oh no! No, he knocked me out again. Okay, good. Settle down, man. Oh my god. Got me. Alright. Alright. No playing around here. There he goes. Throw Throws are always good to do because they're like the strongest moves, basically. Yes, I think they are. Yeah, there we go. Man enough to fight with me? Oh, great, the barrel stage. Oh, I love this stage. It's so fun. No, it's not. It's the most annoying, frustrating stage ever. I'm actually surprised at how well I'm doing. Oh, see, there you go. Because then you get tripped. And then because I missed a single barrel, Guile's going to have a sad face at the end. Watch. Yep. Like, come on. Can you at least, like, if I get most of them? Nope. Can't miss a single barrel. So that sucks. Now we get to fight Vega. I used to hate fighting Vega because he flies all over the damn place. But let's, I don't want to eat my own words here, but I figured out a strategy with him that should work. Let's see if I remember how to do it exactly. Kind of got to get him to a, the right pattern here. 
It's been a while. Once I get him, it should be good. <sighs> I must okay, hang on. Oh my god. Oh no. There we go, see? You can kind of get him in this pattern, we just keep hitting him if you do it right. Like, apparently I forgot. Yeah, I used to always hear people say like, Uh, is Vega a girl? It's like, no, he's, he's not wearing a shirt if you may have noticed. And, I don't know. I don't get how people used to can... And you know what, when I was a kid I probably did that too because I was dumb. Now he's just a really vain Spaniard man. Spaniard. I don't know why I said Spaniard, that's not a thing. Also, I'm not paying attention to that. There we go, there we go. Oh no. Come on. Okay, cool. Alright, be nice good. Come on. There we go. There we go. I don't know, the time's running out. Damn it. That's right, I got one more around. Come on, Vega. There we go. There we go. Had him going there for a minute. Okay. Yeah. Flying on the cage of me. There we go. It was, it was always cool how Vega used his level to his like advantage and had like his own attack with it. Yeah, you know, I never figured out how to actually do that. I should look that up. It was also cool how you could knock his mask and his claw off. Alright, on to Sagat. Just one more before the boss. Sagat was always one of my favorite Street Fighter characters. He was really badass. Tiger! Like his projectile was different too because he could do a low one and a high one. He was actually the boss of the first Street Fighter game too. That's a fun fact for you. And uh, Ryu gave him that scar on his chest from the first game. That's how the story goes. Although you don't actually get to see him do it, I don't think. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. But... Come on. There we go. Not bad. We could do this. Oh no. Not good, not good. Yeah, with Sagat, you just gotta freaking figure out when he's gonna throw his, his tiger shots. And you could jump and hit him. See, like that was a little off. Though. Damn. He's got to be careful though. You shouldn't jump when he's doing low ones, I guess. Okay, I was fast enough. That was close. That was really close. All right. There we go. We're on to the final boss. I'm Bison. This cool little opening where he throws his cape off. Yeah. Yeah, M. Bison, now this guy was a pain in the ass to fight the first time. Because look at him, he's ridiculous. Jesus. In fact, I think they had to nerf him in this game to, so he could be playable. Damn, he kicked my ass. Okay, I need to really pay attention, sorry. Alright. I actually don't really remember the exact strategy for him. Look at that, because he hit me when I hit him. Jesus. Also, I swear he makes the same airplane noise 
as when your airplane is moving on the damn on the map. I have ADD or something. I apologize. I'm gonna try again because I'm here. Why not? So yeah, let's try again. Even though I said I wanted to do it on life. Okay. Yeah, the Street Fighter bosses are notorious for being very difficult. Oh my god, I meant to do a flash kick. Oh man, I must not have it charged up enough. See, even if you think you're winning, it only takes like a split second and Bison's got you. Like, that's it. It's over with. Smacked him. Go back up, Bison. There we go. So, I, don't, I like the right side of the screen. That's what I want. The right side of the screen. Ooh, and he's knocked out. Nice. Good. Just need to win one more time. Then we could get that ending I was talking about. Earlier. No, he's kicking my ass. I don't know. I don't, I don't think he, he's... Yeah, there's no way. He's, he's got me. Oh my god, I can't even block. He'll kill me. He's got me. Yep, see? Damn it! <sighs> okay, I'll try one more time. Because I don't want to waste too much of you guys' time, so I'm just gonna... One more go? It's all or nothing. Damn, I should've known this was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. See, but try, try, now try imagining fighting this guy with, with uh, Dalzim. Like, there's no way. Dalzim is so slow. It's ridiculous. I mean, I'm sure there's dolls and players out there that could do it, but not me. No siree. Oh, come on, his what? There we go. Okay, one more. That's all we need. Come on. Get away from me. It's like floats all over the damn screen like a limit. Look at that! It's ridiculous! Oh my god. You're kidding me. How many? Oh my god. So you think you're doing good and then he just destroys you. Jesus. Alright, come on. This is it. This is it. This is it. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Get out of there. Get out of there. No! Oh, my God. I don't have... I'm dead. That's it. That's all there is to it. Yes! Oh, my God. That was so close. I thought I was done for. Oh my god. I did it. Okay. Now check this out. Hey Bison, remember me? Remember me and Charlie? Hey, Charlie, who's that? Yeah, it's Charlie. The dude who taught him how to do sonic booms and all that. And here comes his wife and daughter. Honey, stop. Jane. Yeah, Jane, his wife. Get it? Yeah, destroying Bison won't bring Charlie back, it's true. I mean, you should kill him anyways, because he's an asshole, but... You know. Yeah, you know, uh, Guile is always like, go home and be a family man? Well, he, twist ending, he actually goes home and becomes a family man at the end. 
So that's always good, right? All right, I guess that's it. I'll leave on this uh, beautiful picture, beautiful notes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll, uh, yeah, see you guys next time.